Welcome to Cusby Cam Farms. We are Heather and Kimmy, best friends for over 30 years. Together we are building a shipping container tiny home on 73 acres in northern Idaho. We have slowly been working on this build as we increase our skills so that we can continue to grow this homestead. Later this summer, we will be working on a pole barn that we have milled from lumber off of the property. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can follow the journey. We were requested to bring. Don't like you, but you look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> that's so better. But we were requested to bring hay from my son to his new baby pigs that we now get to show you. So those are your grand pigs. These are my grandbaby pigs. <laughs> Hi, piggies. Oh, look at you. Just a little piggy piggies. A little piggy piggies. Everybody wants in on it, but that guy. Are you hungry? Piggy piggies? Oh, here he is. Oh, you scratchy, little scratchy scratch. Oh, just a scratchy scratch. Oh, 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 oh. Forgot how stinky pigs are. <laughs> I forgot how stinky the pigs are. Okay, so these are North American guinea hogs. They stay small and we are going to be breeding them. We, and when I say we, I mean my son, um, but I gave birth to him, so I get to be part of it. <laughs> That's right, that's how it works. <clears throat> So we had some hay. We're going to bring them, give them some hay, which they'll sleep in and they'll eat. <laughs> oh, no, you got one. <laughs> there. So what happens when you start running, you guys. <laughs> so they should stack on this. But we know that Darla and Randy have some extra hay grain from when we raised um, those pigs last summer. And we're going to see about picking some of that up and um, giving them that. I missed them having their little hay party. Look at that. that one below your feet. Can. Oh, man. <laughs> You're a girl got two girls and two boys and apparently that big chunky one there is a girl <laughs> she's big Bertha she is a big girl scratch 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 okay we could sit and watch them all day but we got stuff to do Looks at me like that guy looked at his buckets. <laughs> you know, that would be. I guess it just depends on how he was looking at his buckets. I didn't get to see that. How was he looking at it? Demonstrate. Okay. Oh. <laughs> like yeah. they were the light of his life. Look, yeah. I get it. We need buckets too. <laughs> One boy bunny in jail, one boy bunny who's loose hanging out with him, and the rooster. Who's a boy? It's the boys club. We'll hang out with you in solidarity, man. I have been raising rabbits for quite a few years. These are meat rabbits, but I love my animals to have the best life that they have while they are here on my farm and under my care and one of the things that i researched a really long time ago when i first got into rabbits is non-cage raising of your rabbits they love actually being together and hanging out together all of the females do the males do not they fight um, but as a group they will have these huge uh, burrows underneath the ground and and 
have an entire family colony underneath there and they really do much better mentally, physically, and health wise. I have found personally for me when we raise them this way. So what we'll do um, once they're settled in here um, and as far as feeding is we'll either bring in a big bale of hay and let them eat off of that. They'll get to pull some down into their burrows and make beds and nests for their babies and um, that kind of thing to help keep them warm. Uh, we'll also cut down all the things that are growing, all the green foliage that is growing right now on the property and be able to toss that in and they'll be able to eat that. So they're getting more of a free range diet as they would if, if they lived in the wild. We've had a few rabbits that have gotten loose that we've continued to just feed so they've stuck around and we found that those bunnies do really really well free ranging and feeding themselves. We do put a little bit of grain out for them and so that they stick around and they come back and they're not afraid of us so that we can eventually catch them and put them back in the pen. I will be doing a series of rabbit colony raising videos over on Cuz We Can Farm to Table. There's a link in the description. What are you doing? Are you sitting down on the job? I am. Actually, I'm setting up our members only live. <laughs> ah, so you are working. <laughs> And answering comments on today's video, or yeah, today's video, which would have been yesterday's video for these guys. <laughs> so now you guys get to see what we what we do when we're actually sitting down. And if you're not a member, one of the perks is we do a Thursday members only live, and there's also extended video. So, like yesterday's video with the shower. There's a whole lot of extended footage that we just couldn't fit into that time slot of that video. So I finished editing them and we post them for the members only to see. So if you think that's something that you might enjoy watching, make sure you join the channel um, members group. We'd appreciate it and it really does help us out. One of the things that I did in my other colony was I actually had a grow out pin and a breeding pin. And I had put wire down on the ground and then brought in dirt. So they couldn't actually dig down into the earth, They, but they had a big mound that they could create um, burrows in. I'm not going to do that here unless it becomes a problem. If it becomes a problem, then we will pull this fence up on one side, scrape all of this clear, put down some rolled fencing, and then bring back in the dirt so that they can create their burrows inside a mound. But the key to keeping them really healthy and warm in the winter time and cool in the summertime is that they can get deep into the ground and the earth heats and cools them. And being that we have some black bunnies, they can get really, really hot and actually have heat stroke in the summertime. So we want to be able to allow them to do what they would do naturally and dig down and just... Um, have a wonderful life. Oh, I took off my ears. <laughs> Plugs. Can you hold that? Because I cannot do that without ears. It's being covered. <laughs> Hold on for one sec while your cameraman puts hers on. And then you got to pull this away for me. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Rolling. I'm going to feel that in the morning. <laughs> Dang, that sucker went in nice and straight. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is this is going to be a large gate. If we have to take big things in here, then we'll be able to untie this really easy and open it here. But we're going to put a smaller gate here for us to just walk through because... 
the rabbits actually run at you because you come in with food. So we need to make sure that they can't um, get out. And I'm kind of thinking even putting a short one here that we could step over and something up here that we can open and just have two so that there's a step over situation. Um, the only thing that we're really going to be carrying in here would be feed. Um, if it's a bale of hay, we'll throw it over. If it's grain, we'll set up something and pour the grain in. We'll be carrying a five gallon bucket of grain. So this is going to be our new rabbit enclosure and I'm so excited for them. It's 16 feet by 36 feet. A um, little bit wider on this end to get around this big hill. And that way they can dig their burrows and they can, you know, get when they dig their burrows in the summertime, they stay really cool so they don't get overheated. And in the wintertime, it actually keeps them very warm so that they don't freeze and they can continue to breed all year round. So I love colony raising. Um, it's been a little stressful having them in that smaller pen, but to me, it's still better than uh, cages. And this is what we're doing next. As you can see on the bottom of these, there's extra wire that's attached so that the smaller bunnies can't get through um, and keeps the bunnies inside. We will be doing that um, on the rest of this fence here that you see that there's not any on there. Um, and, and then we'll make sure that we cover it around the edges so that the bunnies can't dig underneath. Um, they have plenty of area to dig in here. So, uh, we're going to do as best we can to deter them from wanting to do that. And we have a really cool project coming up in the near future um, that we can't wait to show you guys. But we'll keep that on the down low until, uh, until it actually happens and you'll be able to see what we're talking about.